video, we're going to see how to upload a file from Angular application. I've used Angular 13 for this demo and let me show you something. So this is the screen for the demo and here you can see we are adding a food item and for each food item you can upload multiples of files. Whatever file is uploaded is going to show in this carousel and you can see right now there are four files like four images sliding out. So before we proceed, let, let me show you something quickly. So this is the API that I'm using. I will give you all the things in the description. This API is built in .NET Core 3.1. Here you can see this is the API endpoint that we will be using it. So here basically we need to upload a file and we have to provide the food ID and then just post the file. That's it. Okay, so we're going to use this real time API in our demo. Come, let's get started. Now, just to do this from the fresh, what we will do is let's quickly add a food item. So let's go to this one. Let's click on create food item. Let's create a new item. So since it's a demo, I have just pasted one name of the food item and then the description of it. And let's put some value as $14. And then let's put this as main course. We'll select as Italian. So let's click on save. So we have the food item created. Let's take a look at that. So by clicking on it, it went to a different route and the item that we added was having ID called 14. And here you can see right now there's no image shown here because we don't have any images, right? So we're gonna upload here. So this is the predefined content that I already have built. So we're going to focus only on the upload section today. So I'm back on the application that I've opened up. So let me quickly show you what I have built. So here is an upload component. So the upload component is under the admin section, under the food, and you can see an upload component. So what this component is currently doing is, it is retrieving images for that particular food item and it is showing in the carousel. Because for this one, we do not have any images. So nothing is shown here. And this is the place where we are going to build the upload control, okay? Now let's go back to the component.ts. So these are the bare minimum code to build the form group and the form control. If you want to know more about this reactive forms, you can watch my code operation using reactive forms in a separate video. And let's focus on this upload one. So coming back to the HTML, the only thing that you need is an input of type file. Let's build it. So we have a label and then let's build the input type. So what I've done in this place is I've added an input file of type file. I have a template variable name called my input so that I can refer this control from the component. And then rest and all is a regular form control name and file class and required properties. And this is the important one. We are going to bind this input with a change event. Whenever a file has been selected, we are going to fire the method called handle file input and we send the event.targets, which is of type files. Okay, so we don't have this method right now. Let's build it. So I have a method called handle file input, which accepts of type any for now, and then it returns nothing. So what we're going to do is we are going to convert this data dot files, whatever we are sending as event target, right? So we are going to convert that files into files. You can use as files. And then once you convert it, this files will hold all the images that was choosed from the upload control. Now what we're doing is we're validating the form and then we are going to see if the form is valid as well as I have a extension validation method and basically we are sending the file extension. I want the file to be only the PNG or the JPG file. And if they are valid, you can see this method. If the uploaded file is of type JPG or PNG, we return true if not written false. So once this condition is success, we are ready to upload. So we can say the images being uploaded. And then what we are going to do is 
we are going to write a form data so constant form data so we are going to create an instance of the form data and then we are going to loop through the files and append the form data with the file with the name called file okay we have f is the file and the name of the file is the file in this demo we have not chose multiple files because the api doesn't support the multiple file upload but this code will upload every single file that you choose you just need to put multi in the input control now let's stay on this topic so we have appended all the files to this form data and we have a method upload method so this upload method is basically accepting the form data and the id because as per our api we need to send for which food item we are uploading the image and then we gather the url we just post the url and the file and file is nothing but the form data now once we subscribe to this if it was successfully uploaded and this comes to the success place and we will show them a toast message and if there's something goes wrong we will reset the file saying form.reset and then we can reset the file so basically how do you reset the file my input variable my input variable is the template reference variable so if you notice here my input variable let's find out so my input variable is actually named as my input so you can see the template reference variable here so we are referring that input component so we can reset the file by saying by accessing the native element dot value equal to empty string so that will reset the file we're going to see that in the demo now if the file doesn't support the format that we wanted to upload we simply throw them an error okay so that is the only thing that we need to do so come let's see a demo back on the demo screen now let's choose a file to upload so i'm going to choose a file i'm going to select any of this one just for demo so let's choose this see once the image started uploading we showed them the information and then it was uploaded and looks like we uploaded but nothing is showing up that's because we did not call this method again to fetch all the uploaded information let's fix that so basically in the success method we just need to call the image so we have done this now it's refreshing and you can see the image that we uploaded has come here now let's try a couple of images so image has been uploaded image was successfully uploaded the image the second image came in you can see this let's this is the second image that we uploaded now let's choose a couple of more images it's been uploaded it's coming back you can see there are three now there are four all the four images got uploaded nice this is as simple as that i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments of what you feel if you need a specific demo for a different kind of upload to put in the comment thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon